All right, today's episode with Captain Jeremy Melhoff, we employed several pieces of equipment that I know you're dying to know about. Well, the most important part of the equation was the scented jerk shads. This is the four inch scented jerk shads in the shiner color. Jeremy really likes the subdued look of this particular color. And even though I like to pick a flashier bait at times, it's, it's really what worked the best. The second bait that we used or utilized the most was the Finesse TRD. And the Finesse TRD uh, color that I prefer was the Mud Bug color. A very, very sexy little earthy looking color, kind of opaque in color with just enough bronze flake to give it a scaly look. What the fish think it is, I'm not sure. But when it comes to actually catching fish that are tough to feed, this little Finesse TRD is the way to go. The delivery system, pretty simple. One of my favorite rods. This is the Coastal Clearwater Rod. This is the SWC-66M. It's a six and a half foot medium action rod. It has about a 70-30 uh, feel to the flex. It's nice and soft so that I can make a cast with a very small light bait. Now, one of the cool things about this rod setup is I have the 150 HG. This is the Curado DC. It's supposed to not backlash. This is the Shimano. And I didn't experience any troubles with it at all. In fact, I was throwing it as hard as I could and I was getting cast from 75 to 90 feet out of this setup. And it worked beautifully all day long. Attached to the 15 pound braid, I have a short section here of 20 pound fluorocarbon. I've connected it with an Alberto knot. And the bait itself, you'll notice I did not put a loop knot here. I put actually an improved clinch knot right to the chin locks hook because I wanted to give the bait actually a little less action. Remember, they wanted a nice, smooth, slow, gentle presentation. And that's what worked. 